Windy old day here in Melbourne. And we have Leonard Wise's R2800 just on the test stand now. And she's ready to run. Um, so Leonard, uh, video is mainly for you. We've done a lot of upgrades. We've done the cam ring. We've done the PSAU overhaul. Uh, put the black rocker covers on. Got rid of all the gaskets. Uh, put the solid um, manifold drain on here. The steel one, not the uh, previous copper type one. It was a bit soft. We've got the new mini sump there, which has got the dual ports for the twin scavenge system. So you can just see in there, you got the bottom one there is the engine scavenge pump and the top one there is the auxiliary electric scavenge pump or after run clean kit. But interestingly, I've for some years now just kept that electric pump running all the time on my Kit Fox. Fly Baby doesn't have this, this electric scavenge pump, but the Kit Fox does and it's awesome. I keep it running all the time. So there's a gauze filter um, on that bottom fitting there, in that fitting there. So you check that periodically and just clean it out. It's just a brick filter. And likewise on the top one there. The sump plug is now just has the magnet on it. So there are no magnets on the other strainers, just on the sump plug. So if anything goes wrong, any metal shed or something goes wrong, you'll see debris stuck to that magnet. So that's your first inspection there. But all the things going well, you'll see just a little bit of metallic dust on there through the running in period, and that'll reduce over time to virtually nothing. Um, got the intake drains have been upgraded. You can see you've got now no wing nuts, pesky wing nuts to forget or lose. So these, this, this is a ball in there, you see, and it automatically drops when there's suction. Uh, sorry, when there's no suction, when the engine's running, that'll suck that up and shut off that oil that's trapped in that intake pipe there. You see the intake pipe? The problem with uh, radials is that, that intake pipe can fill of oil after shutdown because of oil weaving past the rings and if the inlet valve's open, that inlet pipe will well up and it could have as much oil up to about where my finger is because the poppet of the valve, the head of the valve, is way up here in the head. So the port is upside, being the head is upside down, you know, you can get a lot of oil trapped in there and this will automatically drain that now. Hydraulic lock or conrod damage, link rod damage caused by ingested oil from the intake pipes on the startup without this oil being alleviated is a number one nemesis for radials. It's got nut oil trapped in the cylinders is not really that much of a problem because you can't physically turn the engine um, before it starts. But the oil trapped in the intake pipe, the engine can start and ingest that oil straight after startup. Once the, uh, the vacuum in the cylinder gets to a certain point, it sucks it all in as a column and that creates, creates a collision with the oil. And that's catastrophic. I've seen that a few times over the 20 odd years. 25 years nearly now. So yeah, got an intake drain, an automatic drop valve there for draining that. And if you wanted, you can put a nipple on that and route that to somewhere convenient. But that works fine. Uh, just got to make sure that the ball doesn't stick up, which they generally don't. But you can see straight through there, so you can see if it has. And likewise on the other side, You've got your, on your second intake pipe on your lower cylinder number four, so four and five, you see you've got your second drain there as well, same thing. You see the ball there shaking as I click it. Yep, so as soon as that engine starts cranking, that ball, that uh, ball bearing will suck straight up and block off that port. Uh, yeah, done a whole bunch of work on this thing. We've had the entire accessory section apart. We've also in, um, upgraded Updated some of the parts in there, uh, including the plenum, uh, the intake plenum fan. We've upgraded that to the latest type. And that's all good. TBI's been serviced. So yeah, she's ready to go. All right, let's give it a run. Okay, so we're outside the booth now and we are ready to run. So got plenty of fuel up there. And that goes through an electric pump through the whole test stand down one of those uh, down one of those conduits there and then to the uh, mechanical pump on the engine so we're ready to go here so first thing I'll do is I'll switch the master on and we will turn the fuel pump on and we're going to open the bottle come in here, I haven't got a 
primer mechanism set up from the panel. So I'm just going to physically reach in there to the TBI and press that button until I see I can find it where it is. I'm looking through my phone when I do this. Should see some fuel dribble on the floor. There we go. So that's good. I've actually got a little hole drawn in that in that little 90 degree there. So it drains that out. So it's plenty of fuel. So now I'm going to close the throttle. It's going to trap that fuel in there, just crack it open a little bit. And crank it first. Clear prop. Okay, that's very good. And then I switch the mags on. And she should start. Bottle's cracked. Here we go. Clear. Again. Beautiful. Oil pressure's coming up. Oil has come up. Bring it up to 2,000. Alright, so we're on our way, let it. I'll uh, give this thing a good run now and I'll check back later when it's warmed up. Cheers. So your engine's all done. So I've given it a good uh, oh, nearly two hours of running. And um, yeah, no issues whatsoever. Ran perfectly. Very pleased with it, no oil leaks. So all good. So we've just let it cool down a bit now. It's a little bit, it's a little bit hot. Maybe. And um, it's literally just shut down checking it for any oil leaks and it all looks looks pretty good. Mini sump's always a good telltale for oil leaks and it looks dry. So yeah, all the rocket covers look okay. No issues there. Okay, so next thing is wait for it to cool down a bit and then I'll do my compression tests, um, gearbox inspection, put it all back together and uh, get it in a box and get it ready for shipping back to the States. For Oshkosh, an Oshkosh pickup. Very pleased with that. All right, man, cheers.